So you guys might have seen the Intel Mystery PC unboxing video we did. Uh, Intel was kind enough to send us uh, some of the main components we needed to build uh, a real beast of a PC. Uh, so we went the extra distance and we bought the extra parts we needed to complete the PC, including the tower, graphics card, um, you know, power supply, stuff like that. Today, we're gonna put this together. First thing you're gonna need is a tower. Uh, we bought the Corsair 450D Obsidian Series. Uh, it's a nice medium size PC, which is really, really actually great. Um, a lot of people have, have these huge towers that are really unnecessary, but because of this uh, compact size, if I need to, I can pick it up, take it to my friend's house, or um, take it home, do whatever you need to do. What does a PC need? A PC needs power. And this is a whole hell of a lot of power here. This is the RM850, the RM series from Corsair. All right, so I'm gonna fit the power supply in. This is pretty much where all the power is gonna come from. All right, so I got my power supply snugly screwed in to where it needs to be. Next, I'm gonna put in my motherboard. So this is the motherboard that Intel set us. It's the Z170 Deluxe motherboard. It's probably the coolest looking motherboard I've ever put in a computer. So here we go, let's do it. So I got a back plate so I know where everything is. I'm gonna slip this in here. Make sure that one's in there. Come on, get in there. There we go. Here is the, here's the motherboard upside down. Here you go. Is it right here? Take this plastic off. All right, so I got this in place. So there's a little prong right here that you gotta fit it through and it'll keep the motherboard in place. So it doesn't shift around as you're screwing everything together. Cool, cool. All right, got a motherboard snug. Snug as a bug right up inside our PC. We're gonna move on to the next thing, which is putting in our processor. This is the brain of the computer. So this is the i7 core processor that Intel sent us. It's the newest one that they made. They just announced at a Gamescom. So this is a very delicate part. So you mess this up, you're gonna really, really regret it. So first you gotta dislock the safety mechanism to release the, uh, the little gate. Then you're gonna pop open your processor. So the CPU that we're using is the Intel i7-6700K processor. It's a four gigahertz processor that is unlocked so you can overclock it to whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and slip this front part underneath. All right, processor installed. Um, so this is the heat sink that comes with the processor. Normally you would put this and install it right on top of the processor once you're done. But instead we went the extra mile and we got a liquid cooling system. I'm gonna take out my rack. So first we're gonna start by putting this mount, slip it into the back right here. Slip it in the back of the motherboard. All right, cool. All right, so we put the back mount in so that we have something to mount it to. Carefully set it down. All right, so here's the cooling unit. Uh, we're going to fix the top part of it in right here. It's like, the, it's like the intake for a car, but it's like the other way around for a PC. So we're gonna go ahead and slide this in here. Cool. All right, that's installed. So back in the day, you used to have to apply your own heat sink putty onto it. Uh, but now, apparently, they come pre-applied onto the cooling unit, which is super nice. Really, really nice. Okay, sit on top. Okay, so. We're gonna finish putting in the uh, cooling cooling unit and uh, we're gonna install two fans underneath here. We're gonna try to fit these cords in the back so we can fish them through and have all the cord cable management happening in the back PC. All 
All right, so after that long grueling process, and also thanks to Spencer, we finally have the uh, cooling unit installed and both fans attached to it. Bear that in mind, this is actually one of the longest parts of building a PC is the whole cooling unit. Everything else kind of falls into place, but this is kind of something you gotta like work together and like fit it in correctly. Um, also making sure the right kind of case is extremely important. Do not, you know, do your research. Check online, make sure your motherboard and everything that you're buying fits in the case that you wanna get, because nothing's worse than being halfway done with your PC and realizing that one of your main components will not fit inside of it because you're a goof and you didn't do your research. A couple different things you can do at this point, but uh, at this point I would like to uh, get power running through so I can start with my cable management uh, right away. You're gonna get a bag of all these different cords, so you gotta figure out which ones you need for what parts. So this is the cord for my graphics card. And I'm going to go ahead and slip it in right there. And fish it through. Keep all my cords in the back. Up here, right? Okay, so then, it's like Legos, guys. This, this part is all like Legos. You just look, count the boxes, and then you'll be able to find it. It looks really complicated, but it's really not. Uh, they also have labels on them. CPU, here we go. So this is the CPU cord. All right, it's got that there. Fish this through here. And then plug this in. We decided to do all of the cable management for the power. Uh, before putting the RAM in because once you have all these things sticking out protruding including graphics card and stuff You could bump it and crack it and mess it up. So uh, it's nice and clean and easy to work in here So the rest we're just slipping right now. This is Vengeance RAM DDR4 this, When it comes to RAM you can just push them in and they'll lock in themselves Don't try to force it too hard, but they do lock in pretty much immediately. All right, RAM is installed. Now all that is left to do is install the hard drive and the graphics card. So I'm gonna install the hard drive right now. We're using uh, Western Digital Black Series, two terabyte hard drives. One of these little racks. So you just line up the, uh, the prongs. I'm just gonna slip them in. Yeah, I remember in the past, like back in like the dark ages, when you'd have to put screws and stuff in. All right, hard drives in. Uh, so for this computer, we're gonna be running the 750 series solid state drive with the PCI Express slot. What this means is that unlike other solid state drives, this goes straight into the PCI slot, similar to a graphics card, uh, and it runs much, much faster because it's just directly connected straight into the motherboard like that. Never had one of these on a computer before, so let's see. Ooh, very nice. This will allow me to uh, put footage and stuff directly onto this solid state drive or programs and they'll boot super, super fast. Like, stupidly fast. Got our solid state drive installed. Screw it in so it's nice and snug. This is uh, the 750 series, this is 400 gigabytes, if you guys are wondering. And then, let's put the graphics card in, let's do it. So we got a GTX 980 for this computer. Cool. So those are all snug and in place. That is pretty much the completed build of the PC, we need to plug in all the power cords and uh, do a little bit of cable management in the back and tie it up. Uh, we're gonna do that real quick and then we'll show you the final build when it's done. All right guys, so the PC is fully assembled and put together. Uh, all the cables are beautifully managed in the back so you can't see them in the front. Uh, so don't give a shit about my PC cable management. Uh, big thanks to Intel for signing us those main parts and motherboard, RAM, CPU, uh, Thank you so much for sending those in. Uh, those were the building blocks to building this PC, uh, and now it is finished. Uh, this will be great for gaming, and it will be especially great for editing to make even better LAN party videos for you guys to watch. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah! <laughs>
<laughs> Dude, I wasn't alerted. I'm guilty. I'm going same guys plus myself because I know that I'm true blue. I like it. Okay. Let's do it. Wait, 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 wait